Hey golf fans, welcome into another episode of Up and Down, where we take a look at what's trending up and what's trending down in the game of golf. Trending up, get ready to binge watch. The PJ Tour confirms that filming is underway for a Netflix docuseries that will give an unprecedented look into the lives of PJ Tour stars both on and away from the course. The series is being produced by the same group that put together the popular Drive to Survive series, which has propelled Formula One racing into unprecedented popularity. Nearly two dozen players are signed on, allowing crews to follow them throughout the season. Names including Dustin Johnson, Colin Morikawa, Xander Schauffele, Justin Thomas, and Jordan Spieth. Notable names not signed on include world number one John Rahm, PJ Tour Player of the Year Patrick Cantlay, Tiger Woods, and reigning PJ Tour Player Impact Program winner Phil Mickelson. So, if you suddenly find yourself glued to the TV on Sunday watching the final laps of Formula One races around the globe, you certainly are not going to want to miss this. Also trending up, the facial hair game on the PJ Tour. Scores were at an all-time low at the Century Tournament of Champions, but the facial hair game, well, that was an all-time high. Start with Cameron Smith, who set a PJ Tour record, shooting 34 under over 72 holes on his way to victory. Doing so while the Hawaiian winds flowed through his mullet, and while his mustache leaves a bit to be desired, I can certainly relate. That's nothing that his $1.4 million winner's check won't help him get over. Tony Finau offered a refined look in his 2022 debut on his way to a tie for 19th, but the leader in the clubhouse for best facial hair this season, without a doubt, goes to Eric Van Royen. His Raleigh Fingers-esque mustache masked a relatively unspectacular tie for 25th in the 38-man field, but the rest of the tour should count themselves lucky that there's no proven correlation between facial hair and performance on the course. If that were the case, everyone would be playing for a distant second behind Eric Van Royen. Trending down, one of the PJ Tour stars not signed on for the docuseries, Bryson DeChambeau. His season got off to an unremarkable start with a tie for 25th at the Century Tournament of Champions, but the real concern came this week when he withdrew from the Sony Open citing wrist soreness. That's an ominous injury for such a long hitter and while it's not time to press the panic button just yet, this marks the last time we'll see Bryson in January. His next competitive event is set to be the Saudi International February 3rd through 6th. We wrap things up with the big news regarding the US Women's Open, that being the purse nearly doubling up to $10 million in the year ahead. This means the winner will enjoy a $1.8 million payday, and new USGA CEO Mike Wan noted that there's plans for the purse to increase even further up to $12 million in 2026. That's all for this episode of Up and Down. For more episodes, you can head over to the video section of si.com golf. Till next time, I'm your host, Colin McDonald, and remember, it's not about whether you hit the perfect approach, it's about whether you get up and down from there.